This is the second video I'm gonna do about Alligator Bungaloo of Lou Donaldson. I'm gonna do the whole solo. So I'm gonna identify the phrases and explain them in the alto sax using this in meal. Head. That's the first question and answer. This is E, F sharp, A, and C of the octavator. The answer is A, C, E, and D. So the first, the first part of the solo, it's he's doing that. Fourth grade, the same motif. It ends in C. Ends in C, that answer. Minimum variation of the same Question answer. Dominant. It's like the same thing, but um, with an answer that it's resolving more with more notes, but the same motive. That is like a game between C and C sharp. C, C sharp, A. C sharp, A, E. All this it's, is inside this pentatonic. So you gotta study that. It's in the other video explained. The part one. Continue. I guess you do something like that. It ends. It's like G, A, C, and E up. It's okay. Ah, so. Then it do something like rhythm something rhythm here G A A A G A A A D G A A A G A A A C Very typical from this kind of blues Same resolution
at the end it just C sharp or, or this time of thing the final This is the first time we, we, with an F sharp A and the second one for G. I can't do can't do be brother with, with this. <laughs> Same melody. Something like that. Think about the rhythmic. Pa pa ra pa pa ta pa ra pa. Pa pa ra la ta pa pa ra pa. G A. G A. E D. A. C C sharp. So it sounds like this. Sorry. I didn't. F sharp. A, D, no, B, C, B, A, B. Very simple melody, but with much groove. Same pentatonic. A. Same fi final. Final. Same final, but doing, if you hear it, he repeats. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it again. He repeats the motive. The rhythmical motif. He repeated. So if you if you figure it out, it's like a very 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 rich in groove and rhythmic things. This solo, independent from the little notes used. So he does. Continue. Something like that. Here is using this like D, D sharp, E. Same thing, but but with C sharp. Very typical in the blues, major blues.
Mulai. Ah. So, pentatonic. He never lifts the pentatonic. The A C D E G. And he does the typical blues tricks that are G, C, C sharp, A. Sorry, A, C, C sharp, A. And you can end it with an E. And the other things are like going through the scales, like in rhythms like tita, 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 tita. Like you gotta go study the scale up and down like that. From A to A and then backward. A G A G E G E D E D And upwards. And if you do that with the sum of the other tricks, it sounds like this. Trumpet. A G A A A G G F sharp F sharp E E. C, C sharp, A, C, C sharp, A, C, C sharp, A. It's like the same thing but with more rhythm. I love um, trumpet blues because it's more rhythm than sax and you can get many, many ideas from there. Very little notes, much more rhythmic thing. It's like C, B, C. But the way it plays, So things like, you can do things like That is the same pentatonic from A, A, G, E, D, C, sharp, C and A Not more, then C, C sharp, E, C, C sharp, A. So you can mix both rhythmic and then do that. Then Then the third.
I'm just doing E D C maybe E and then D sharp just blues trick same thing you can keep in the same thing whether always if it's in that pentatonic that is C B A I should keep all the song like that if you get a good motive it will sound good in all the different shorts well same thing but the, the different rhythm same a d 8b and g8 So, you gotta study the blues, you gotta take it, this whole solo, get the idea, study the pentatonic, remember. And practice the, the game of, of making it C, C sharp, E, for example. And A. That's all, hope you like it.